Hey y'all, I'm back with a plan with me video and this is for June 2017 and I'm going to be using my mini happy planner and I'm going to start by showing you um, how I add the actual dates to the monthly view and I'm going to pull out my pages, set them right on my work surface and get started. This stamp set that I'm using, it has little bitty numbers on it and they're a little tedious to use and this process kind of took a while so I actually um, skipped quite a bit of it so that you guys don't have to sit and watch this. But um, I believe the stamp set is from a Citrus Twist, uh, not a kit, it's from a Citrus Twist Shop, I think. I don't subscribe to their kits, um, but I have gotten a couple of things out of the actual shop. Um, from time to time. So I'm adding the days or the dates to the days of the week and then I'm going to get started with my decorating. So this is a sticker book from Michaels and it's titled uh, Student I believe and to be honest uh, typically I wouldn't even look through it because I am not um, a student. I don't necessarily need like words that say you know study break or exam or anything like that. But I do feel like it has some of the cutest icons I've ever seen and out of any of the sticker books that I've ever purchased and I have quite a few. And so I really didn't want to just put it back because it said student. There, there are ways that I can use those other stickers and so don't like be turned off by the fact that it has something on the outside. Like if you're not a mom and you want the sticker book that says mom because you like the icons and you like what it says, then get it. I don't feel like it. you need to like not purchase it or pass it by just because it has something on the outside that doesn't pertain to you. So I loved the icons in this other one too. It was um, the seasonal one and I obviously am not going to use like the first half of it right now because it has a lot of fall and wintery colors but I do love the idea that it has like beachy type things and it has summery icons and um, and it also has like standard stickers too. So I'm kind of just going to add some important dates to monthly views. If you've seen me do a monthly spread before, I really just add things that are important. I don't add like day-to-day -day things, obviously. Um, I just add big things. In the month of June, it's my daughter's second birthday and it also is her birthday party. So I'm definitely adding that. I'm adding our vacation, which was sadly last week. Um, it was the 5th through the 9th. And, or actually the 5th through the 10th, I think. And then, or maybe it was the 4th through the 10th, whatever. Anyway, we were gone for like almost a whole week. And um, and then I'm going to add like that I go back to work on the 15th and um, some other big things that are going on. Oh, she has a doctor's appointment. So stuff like that. Um, typically, I wouldn't add those things um, or I wouldn't add like, you know, my, my meetings um that I have throughout the week on a monthly spread because that those are kind of smaller things that I can add in my weekly spread. And I'll share a weekly spread with you guys soon. I'm also adding, so a lot of the stickers, let me just mention, the stickers come from these two sticker books. I don't think I pull anything from any other sticker book. So I'll try to link these down below if I can find them, but it's the student and the seasonal sticker book. Um, and so I also am using a couple of things for my stash, like some washi tape that I have. Um, some of it is, one set of the washi tapes are, I believe, are from um, Mombi, like it came in like a little tube. And then the flowery one at the bottom, I'm not really quite sure where that came from. I think it came in a hip kit club kit, but I'm not really sure which one and I'm not sure what the brand is. Um, so I've added lots of summary things, like I said, and I'm adding some big events with this uh, precision pen. It's one of my favorite pens to use, as you guys probably know. I'm also adding a little doctor's appointment sticker that I found um, in one of my, it, it, this actually came in a recollections pack from Michaels, um, and it's just a small little doctor's appointment sticker, nothing major. And I'm actually going to flip through some other sticker books just to see if there's anything I want to add, but I really wasn't prepared. I just wanted to stick to a couple of sticker books today. And so I just will flip through these and not find anything and then think that I'm going to find something and I actually don't. So I just put those away and then start looking through my stash. And this little tub right here has a lot of my um, just little bits and pieces, embellishments, things like that. And I do find a couple of things. I don't know that I find anything in this one, but I do find a couple of things in my little planner ephemera box that I'm going to pull. Um... And here it is right here. It has some little small icons, perfect for the mini planner. I've printed and I print and cut these um, 
like a while back. And if you want to check out my big picture classes um, class, it has how I organize all of this stuff so that you can see, um, you can see like how I divided all these things up and how I organize them and keep them close by. Um, so I'm going to continue to add uh, some little elements. I found a cute little cactus and um, I think I found a little sun. That's a and these are not stickers, so I'm obviously adding some um, adhesive to the back of those with my dot runner, which is the Tombow runner is one of my favorite runners. I tried out the Elmer's one, and I liked it okay. I think it's pretty sticky, but it doesn't glide on very good. And so just keep that in mind if you're spending less money on um, dot or runners. It's pro It might be because they're just not as good quality. Um, but the stickiness of the Elmer's one was really good. I just didn't like the way that it um, was gliding onto the page. I'm looking in these other washi or this washi sticker book. I don't really see anything, so I pulled that. Um, I was going to use a piece of washi, like a banner, but I decided not to use that. Um, you probably didn't see me add this piece of green and sh this green and white or green and translucent clear, um, whatever washi tape to the side over to the left. I added that off camera and I, it actually was a fluke because I wasn't sure if I would like it and I just kind of stuck it there and then I thought that ended up looking really cute and it kind of added a little something, um, especially because I put it horizontal. And so I added a little bit of stamping, just used a couple of stamps from um, Citrus Twist, I believe, just like some little icons that were triangles. It just added some design to it. And now I'm looking back at the sticker book to see if there's anything else that I can find. And I don't really do a whole lot more um, to this page. I pretty much am getting close to the end. I do find a star that I that I want to use. I think what I'm doing right now is I see quite a bit of white space in the center of the spread. Um, and so I decided to add a little star there. And then I actually wanted to add that there's a speech bubble there at the bottom that's just, it's not a sticker, it's a print and cut icon. Um, and I thought that it was glued down and it wasn't. And so I actually don't end up adding that to the page because it falls off off camera and I didn't care to go back and, and um, fix it. So I added a little label, but I really wanted it to be straight and I could have used my trimmer, but I just decided to use my um, little X-Acto knife and then I'm going to stamp. I was going to write something, but I'm just going to stamp pajamas because it's actually the day before I go back to work. And so I kind of just want to make the most of the day. I know you guys are probably like, really in your pajamas, how are you going to be productive? But sometimes just like not really doing a whole lot is one of my favorite things to do. And so um, I went ahead and put uh, pajamas there so I just can relax before I go back to work. So here's my final spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these and I will be sharing a weekly view with you guys soon.